Hey y'all, welcome to What Chelsea Eats. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to share with you how to make these black lentil burgers. They are delicious. I love them because they add interest to salads so that you're not eating the same quote unquote boring salad every day. And they hold up well, they freeze well. They are cheap and easy to make. So if you wanna see how I make them, stay tuned you want to start by making your cooked ingredients so this is chopped red pepper it has some green parts on it but i just wanted to water saute my peppers so that i can add them to the bunch you do not have to cook them first but i think it tastes better the texture is better whenever you do cook them i also cooked some quinoa but i forgot to get the footage for the quinoa um, all you need is a cup of cooked quinoa for this dish you can use the lentil burgers for anything you would like i'm gonna make a salad because i want to get my greens in today and this is a good way to do it i'm using the easiest greens you could possibly use which is mixed greens you don't even have to wash them you just take them out of the box and put them in a bowl that's it it's very simple i happen to like other greens but i was being too lazy and didn't feel like cutting them up so we have mixed greens today let me also interject, I took eight ounces of sliced mushrooms and water sauteed them in my pan as well. I will not use all of these for this salad, but I like to keep cooked mushrooms in the refrigerator so that I can add them to my salad or dishes anytime I wish. It's like a prep thing that I do occasionally. Let me interrupt this video with this quick announcement. If you are struggling to get your eating under control and trying to figure out what it is you're supposed to eat on a daily basis so that you can heal the reproductive issues that you are struggling with, you may wanna check out the Fibroid Detox Workshop on demand. There's information down in the description box below this video so that you can learn more. Let's get back to our regularly scheduled programming. So let me go ahead and add the ingredients for, to make the burgers. First, we're gonna start off with that cup of quinoa. Then we're gonna add the red bell pepper. Honestly, you could add whatever you want here. I actually think onions taste good in burgers as well. I just didn't have an onion that I could use because my husband was using it for his salad, so. I didn't want to take his onion, but you can use that instead of bell peppers if you don't want. Then I've got black lentils. Black lentils, you can use whatever kind of bean you have, just use the same amount. Then we have the spices that I'm going to use for this. And let me tell you something about the spices. You can use more or less. When you're done mixing this, you taste it to see if it is spiced enough for you. This is a no salt lentil burger. I did not add any salt. I don't use salt. Feel free to add salt. And once you've got this all mixed up, be sure to taste it to see if it's to your liking and add more seasoning if it needs it. Also, I want to let you know that all of the ingredients and the measurements for this recipe are listed below this video in the description box. But this right here is ground chia seeds. This is the binder. It is what holds the burgers together. After you have mixed this in, you also need to check the spices again. And you want to stir this until it is well combined and once you have it well combined you want to flatten it in the bowl i'll show you see how i'm taking the back of the spoon and pressing the mixture down into the bottom of the bowl you want to try and make it as even as possible because you're going to use this method to measure out your burgers now I made four burgers from this, four regular size burgers. You can also make this into sliders. You can make these into meatballs. So you do whatever is going to be the best option for you. So what I'm gonna do is take this butter knife and cut it into four sections so that I can easily make this into four patties. And all you do is just take each section 
and form them into patties just like if you were working with ground meat or ground turkey or ground beef it's the same thing it actually the consistency is pretty similar with making it into a patty you see how easy that was it's the perfect patty and then I just lay them on my baking sheet lined with parchment paper, paper so it doesn't stick to the pan and I go on and make the second patty. I repeat the process until I'm finished. And I just add the burgers to a parchment lined baking sheet. And this time I'm using aluminum foil and then I put the parchment paper over top of the aluminum foil because I'm using my air fryer on the baking setting to cook these burgers. Aren't they beautiful? I'm trying to get a close up so you can see. So I dressed my salad. I'm starting with some cucumbers. I love English cucumbers. You guys know that and then I'm just adding the burger I'm having one burger for my salad next I'm adding those cooked mushrooms you can add as many as you want or you could leave it out can't have a salad without some kind of tomatoes these are grape tomatoes that I'm adding and they're delicious and then I'm adding a little bit of avocado for some creaminess for the salad I also would probably add if I was thinking maybe some lime or some lemon on this salad, but it didn't need it. It's just, that's one of the things that I like on salad. And I'm just gonna add my finishing touches, which is the dressing. And I'm adding some jalapeno peppers to this salad to give it a little bit of a kick. It doesn't need it, but that's what I like. The dressing is a heaping tablespoon of tahini, no salt seasoning, garlic, and water. That's it. And I just stirred it together and drizzled it on top of my salad. Some people like to put salt on there. If you eat salt, you can add salt to make that dressing as well. But I knew somebody was gonna ask me, so I figured I'd better share it. The salad was very delicious. As you can tell here, I ate just about every drop. You know those kind of salads where you might wanna lick the bowl? like. I didn't lick the bowl but I could have but if you like this video please give it a thumbs up share it with a friend and if no one told you that they love you today Chelsea in North Carolina loves you very much and I'll talk to you all soon take care